Hello guys, my name is Khan and in today's video we will discuss that how you can construct confidence bands in Tableau. Uh, in this video I'm, I will be assuming that, that uh, you guys will be aware about the confidence interval. If you guys are not much aware about the confidence interval, I will, be, I will briefly tell you about that the confidence bands or the confidence interval can tell you that how much your data can possibly vary and what could be the range of the data. So confidence uh, bands or confidence interval you, you mainly built on a continuous variable. Uh, so for this video I will be using uh, data which is related to index. Uh, I will open this data it's in the excel format and the data is very uh, simple. I have the index name uh, and then I have the date. Uh, as you can see each row represents one day and then I have uh, the price index that what's the price of that index for uh, for each day so it's more like a closing price each day for the given index so so what we I will be doing first as I always do first thing if you want to do work in Tableau first you have to import uh, data into Tableau uh, again, Tableau works in three steps. Uh, first, you have to import the data, then you create your visuals over it, and then in the last third step, you share your visualization with the audience. So let's import the data. As I said that my data is in the Excel format, I will click Microsoft Excel. This is the data that I will be importing. So let's see. So as I said that my data, had, I have shown you guys that data have three variables and we successfully able to import all the data into uh, Tableau. Let's go to sheet one. So if I go to sheet one, what I will be doing. So for this video, I want to construct uh, the confidence band or the confidence interval for each day level. So what I will do, I will put my date variable here. It's here it's showing that it's given me the table at a year levels, but I don't want it year level. I will change it later. Then second, I have a measure, which is the price index, which is a continuous variable. I will drag it to the rows. Here you can see that the data is shown at a year level, but I don't want it at year level. I want to show it at a each date level. So for that, I will go to this down arrow button and exit. I will say exact date. So now you can see I have this uh, graph. Uh, so now I have date and here we have the price index. And now suppose as a user you want to see that what is the confidence interval around this blue line. How the data can possibly vary based on the historic data that we have collected now. So in order to do that uh, we I will do I have devised a way through which you can do. But if you go to this analytics tab and you say there are some also option like average 90% uh, CIA and this one, but this one only considers the aggregate data, but not the data for the given day. So I suppose if I do this, if I click it here, and it's now. so you can see it have added an aggregated line for me that this is the average uh, for it, but I don't want that. I want for each date it tells me that how much variation it can uh, possibly can occur for each date so I will remove it and now I will start constructing my variables that I will be using uh, to construct the confidence interval so let's if I go down go to my data and I right click it and here is the option create calculated field so first I will be creating let's say upper bound so upper bound will be telling us that how much the data can vary in the upper direction uh, so suppose if I want to see that how much data can vary one standard deviation based on the given date data uh, how it can vary so in order to do that I will be using this formula it's a bit important uh, formula sum and then I will be using the price index which is coming from my data and then I will be saying plus and here I will be using for the given window standard deviation as you can see it here and then I will be adding again my price index so. 
and I will say sorry I will be using pair sum again too so sorry I have made an error I will be creating the variable again so let's uh, I have to see create calculated field and then I will be creating upper bound variable here again the upper upper bound variable which can tell us that how much the data can vary in the upper direction so I will be saying here sum this will be the function then will price index plus then I will be using the window standard deviation function and here again sum sorry sum price index so now everything looks good there, there is no error I am getting here so again I can apply here okay so now you can see this new calculated field is added here and now I can add it, this thing into the graph so how I will add I will just drag this here to my rows the secondary rows but here you have to you can see that another axis another segment of the graph got added I don't want to see that kind of thing I just want everything on the same graph so what I will do here I will click this down arrow and I will click this dual axis and you can see that within the same axis I have two I have one axis here one y axis here but both axes are all are exactly the same so what I will do here I will click this axis right click it and the first thing I will do I will synchronize axis the other thing I can also do is that I will go here and I will go to edit axis and I will also name it as like not as upper bound I will name it as price index again so that people don't get confused so I did it so you can see my axis got updated both are the same representing the same thing uh, so as you can see it here upper bound is above it so now the second thing that I will do is that I will also add the lower bound which will show that how much uh, the data can go down so here if you look at the upper bound upper bound is telling us that how much the data can go one standard deviation based on the given data uh, and in the same way I will add another lower bound which will be telling that what will be the range if the data goes one standard deviation below uh, in order to do that uh, I will just simply go to my data site again I will say create a calculated field again and now I will be naming as lower bound and I will come here I will write down my formula sum and then the expression that I will be using again the price variable which is coming from data and then I will be using window standard deviation and again sum price which is again my variable and everything looks good but here I am looking for the lower bound so I will minus it so make sure that you have used it minus here I will say apply so my variable got added okay so now the thing is that I have to add this lower bound to here in this uh, graph too but the trick here is that we already have one axis and uh, this second axis so now we are adding the third variable in order to do that what I will be doing I will be dragging this lower bound variable to this secondary axis so let's do that so I will drag it and I will drag it into here so now you can see I have three lines now representing price index, lower bound and upper bound. The, the, the lowest line is the lower bound as you can also see it from my hair. Uh, but now I also, I, I, I want to create a, a kind of a coloring. So I want to see a range, a color range which will tell me about the uh, between the lower bound and the upper bound in order to do, do that I will be creating a bandwidth which will be kind of uh, what's the difference between lower bound and the upper bound 
so i will be creating that now so again i will be, i will be using the create calculated field i will be saying here band width and here i will be calling first upper bound and then i will be saying minus lower bound these are the variables that i have just created i say okay so now the trick is when you have created this bandwidth uh, what i will do i will replace this upper bound with the bandwidth so i will drag this variable i will place it over exactly on the upper bound now you can see it have turned into a straight line but it's not an issue uh, now in order to make it make its representation correct i will just reorder this thing i will make it the bandwidth above the lower band so i will do that now so now you can see that my bandwidth is above uh, this lower bound But now and now what I will do in order to create a bands over this graph, I will do a trick. So again, I will go to my secondary axis, do a right click, and then I will go to this mark type. Instead of line, I will select the area, I will select the option area. So now you can see that we able to create a uh, bandwidth of the confidence interval. Uh, to my graph but in order to make it further what i will do i will change the color so suppose i don't want this blue color because i just want to keep users focus on this range which is telling us the confidence interval so in order to do that i will come here to my price index so i will double click it and go to edits i think go to edits here select the edit color option here then suppose i want interested in to make this white so i'll click it i'll select custom color white okay apply sorry i have changed or i will control z uh, i want to see this thing different so this is the so i'll go to edit again lower bound custom color white okay apply okay so now you can see the graph looks uh, this graph is showing that this is my actual data which we got and then we created the confidence interval uh, below and above it uh, now the second thing that i will be doing is that uh, uh, so here you can see that uh, the users uh, have the only option to see that how much data can vary one standard deviation above or below uh, but now we can also what we can do is that uh, we can also allow the user with the help of creating a parameter to define the standard deviation they want to see and how we will do this uh, uh, for that i will be creating a new sheet sorry so i will what i will do i will come to this sheet i will do a duplicate so i will create a duplicate so that my working don't get disturbed if in case if i make any error on my uh, sheet while creating the parameter so uh, quickly what i will do i will create a parameter so i will say create a parameter i will say select standard deviation and here i want to see it as float Front value one is fine. I want to create a range, so I will select the range minimum one and maximum three standard deviation will be fine. Uh, step size I want to select it as 0 0.2 or maybe 0 0.1. Uh, I'll say OK. So once I have created this uh, parameters here, I can 
select this down arrow button and I will select the option to show parameter control. So I want the user to give a control. So you can see I can increase it now here or decrease it. But this parameter is not yet connected to anything. But suppose if I go to my variables that I have just created uh, the upper bound. So if I go to upper bound and try to edit it. So here you can see that I'm creating, I'm saying that add one standard deviation to the current price to, uh, to come to know how much it can vary. So, but here I can give the users the ability to select the standard deviation by using the parameter that I have created. So I will be saying into, into uh, the parameter that I have created is named as selected stand, select standard deviation. Okay. Okay, and now if you see if I create if I increase this selected standard deviation, you can see that my graphs are updating based on the selected standard deviation I am. So if I'm want if the user want to see that how much data can vary, uh, suppose above one point seven standard deviation, he can see it by controlling it from here. So in this video, you can also get a very good idea that how you can use the parameter option in Tableau 2. And in the same way, we can add, but currently this parameter is not added to the lower bound. So I will also add this uh, selected, uh, select standard deviation parameter to my lower bound variable too. So I will go come here. I will again click this down arrow button and say edit. And then, sorry, okay. not bandwidth, uh, lower bound. I will edit it. And here I will also add into select stand deviation, which is my parameter. Let's apply. Okay. Everything got added. So now, if I increase my select uh, standard deviation parameter, you can see my whole graph got impacted by this parameter. And I can, as a user, I can select uh, that how much I want to show, I want to see the standard deviation below and above the given data points. So in in finally in this video we discussed that how you can add a confidence interval or confidence uh, bands to your graphs in tableau and then in the end we also have uh, able to see that how you can give the user the ability to uh, select the option of how much standard deviation below or above they want to see the bandwidth uh, and in this video, you, as, a, you, uh, as a new user, you will be able to see that how you can use the parameter option for your, how you can use the parameter option to make your graphs more attractive. Uh, thank you for watching the video.